How to create a membership site with WordPress. Hello and welcome. In this video session, we're going to use Paid Memberships Pro membership plugin for WordPress to create our membership site. If you never used WordPress before, Rank Your YouTube channel has complete WordPress Essentials training course. So this video tutorial session will assume that you know how to install WordPress on your own. Okay? If not, I've got the videos for you to learn all about that. So let's go right into it and create our membership site. When we log into our dashboard, go under plugins, all we need to do is press on add new. Searching uh, WordPress plugins directory for membership, as you can see, we have so many different plugins to create our membership site. Keep in mind, you can search Google for these plugins because some are paid as well that you may like to check out. In this video tutorial, we'll be taking Paid Memberships Pro, which is a free plugin that you can quickly use and the reason we're choosing this is because it's very user friendly as well as it gives you ability to extend the plugin later on as your membership site grows. Let's activate the plugin. When we do, we'll end up having a link here. As you can see, the plugin is installed. If I press on memberships, menu option this is what this plugin looks like now before we start exploring these options let me show you the test site looks like this it's only got one test page i've created a couple of sample categories for you very basic right so if your website is already installed but now you want to include a membership site no problems because you still follow the same procedures. So let's go and add a new level. Levels are basically your way of categorizing your site into different membership levels. Okay, You can name your levels anything you want. In this example, let's say it's basic level for private videos. Description is you describe the level because um, visitors who are going to become your members will end up seeing the description for that level okay as to what they are signing up to confirmation message is what they will see as a message once their sign-up process is all confirmed. Let's go into billing details. Here you set the amount that you would like to request at the registration process, at the initial process. Most membership sites are on recurring basis on internet. Right, so you can say, you know what, I'd like to charge $7 once, in this example, per month, or per year, or daily, or weekly. You can change the settings, let's say, per three, as in within this time you specify. Okay, so you have that option, keep that in mind. Billing cycle limit, leave that zero unless you say, you know what, billing cycle will be six. You can read more about it here, but if it's a recurring, then it is smart to leave that as zero, as in empty. Custom trial period may be of interest to you. You may say, you know what, I'd like to offer a custom trial period. And for that period, I'd like to charge $3.50, um, $3 50% of that $7, and so on. You have that option. 
for the first subscription payment or for three subscription payments and so on you have that option with this plugin you can disable new signups if you were to check this box that means visitors won't be able to sign up for this particular level that you're creating this is great for testing purposes perhaps so you have that option keep that in mind you can also set expiration dates for your membership level you may say you know what for this particular level for my website it's going to go on for six months and after that the membership will expire so you can quickly set that setting here as well categories are important part of wordpress and it's only smart for you to categorize your wordpress site so that you allocate certain posts into certain categories allocated for your members only so all your categories will show up here but you can quickly select a category and say you know what only members who sign up to this level will see what's within that category let's say level as you can see few mouse clicks I've got a new level I can delete the level if I want I can copy it or I can go back and edit and make changes accordingly okay so you always have that option so let's go back to settings and let's press on copy this plugin is very user friendly and it's updated often as you can see now I just copied this level I can make the changes here let's save level now I've got two different levels because I've just copied the previous one okay so you have that option no problems simple site one page but this particular plugin requires certain pages for this membership site to work if I was to press on this tab for pages or if I was to press on page settings it will take me to the same interface when you install the plugin all you need to do is click this link this plugin will go ahead and automatically create the required pages for you save settings but keep in mind you can create custom pages and change the settings here as well okay you can press on view the page and so on but before we do that let me show you the pages of my WordPress site and when I refresh you will see all the required pages is created for you how great is that not many plugins will allow you to do that so if I press on view page right that's why we're using this plugin I can always edit the page but because it's automatically generated I am only going to see a shortcut you can go to the website for this plugin to learn more about short codes and so on. Now, before we move on, let me show you where these pages are coming from on your web server. When you log into your web server and press on as in find file manager, press on it and go to the folders and you should see a folder named WP content go into that go into plugins folder and then simply find the folder for this plugin double click into it and then you have a folder named pages if you press on it these are all your pages let's go to levels let's edit 
Yeah, if you're being overwhelmed with all these codes, don't worry. Basically, this page is making this page work. To demonstrate the point to you, let's just say Let's put a hello world there. Let's save the changes. So I am editing the levels.php because now, just before that table, I should see hello world. Okay, so the reason I show you that is because later on, as your site grows, you may need to go in there and make certain changes according to your wants so let's go back to our plugin and let's explore a couple of these settings email is surely an email that you provide for your members to interact with you as you can see at the time of checkout the email that you provide here will get an email saying you know what someone has just checked out and so on okay so that's what the email settings are all about we've got advanced settings let's press on that here you have different settings to show as in messages to show someone who's logged in but they are not members it could happen depending on your setup or someone who's logged out and if they want to request pages that's allocated for members of your site they will end up seeing this message let me demonstrate that to you as well let's go into a sample post i've created a private post as a sample let's go to edit and here let's imagine that this is allocated for members only if that's the case I simply make sure that it is within the category that I have specified for the levels okay at the same time you have this option always whether it is through your posts or whether it is through your pages you will now always have the option to quickly make certain pages or posts allocated for members only so if I was to make sure that basic level is required to view this post if I update copy the link and open up a different browser because then I am not logged in to show you as you can see someone requesting a private part of your site will end up seeing this message and where is that coming from that is coming from here if I save changes refresh this page as you can see so you can always tweak things here as well. now it is smart to use Google real capture as in capture you can sign up for one here simply follow the methods on this um, google recapture option they will provide public and private keys whereby you can enter it here and if so then before someone can register they will have to validate saying that they are not automated bots it's smart to include that because as you know wordpress is popular but at the same time many people try to spam it so it's smart to include capture keys here as well terms and conditions obviously you create a terms and conditions page so that someone must check as in they must read the terms and conditions page which will be visible before they can sign up let's select as a sample let's start getting in there trying to understand how this plugin is working as you can see at this stage there is no terms and conditions right that means if I was to say you know what 
this particular page's terms and conditions as an example if I set that then that page will show up here as terms and conditions let's take a look as you can see and someone must agree to those terms and conditions before they can sign up okay so you always have that option and it's actually smart to include that on your membership site now we also have this option here you can leave that as no or yes perhaps you'd like to show a sample of your membership pages so that someone can get a taste of it before they sign up that's what that is all about okay yeah add-ons are add-ons some are free some are paid so if you register with this plugin site as in if you go to their site and become a yearly member then you will have options to install many different add-ons some are free some are paid but as you can see this particular plugin has so many different extensions for various reasons but nonetheless we're using the free version to set up our site because we don't need to pay any money to get this membership site working so let's go to payment settings for the gateways and so on at this stage we've got all these settings here as you can see we can do a lot of different things with this particular plugin which I will show you in the next video session once again I have more videos for WordPress on Rankia YouTube channel and I'll talk with you in the next video session